okay, so you're probably trying to transfer your files from your MacBook on to this. This is a WD 4 terabyte My Passport portable external hard drive with backup software and password protection in silver. It came with this USB 3.0 and it also came with these USB-C ports. So I plugged the USB-C into the hard drive and now I'm gonna plug this into my Mac. It's now plugged in. And by the way, if you were just trying to see how to do this before purchasing it, I have an Amazon affiliate link in the description box below. You can go ahead and pick this up. But let's get started formatting your hard drive. So it's gonna show up looking like this. It says My Passport for me. You can open this up. And this is how you want it to look. You want it to look like this, where you can have a file in there. However, I'm going to show you how to get to this point. So in order to get to this point, I'm going to take a few steps back. I'm going to go to this magnifying glass, and then I'm going to type in disk utility, and it can auto-populate as well. This tells me how much space is on my MacBook, but then I go over here where it says external, and then I click my passport and this is just the name of it. So it tells me how much I'm using. So the one file I have in there, I'm using about a gigabyte worth of data. So for you, you're probably using maybe like a few megabytes because it comes already with something on it. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go to this button that says partition. Now partition, what this is gonna do, it's gonna reformat your hard drive. So right now, it already says the one I have it in, but I'm actually gonna reformat it anyway because I'm gonna take it out of Mac OS Extended and I'm gonna put it into APFS case sensitive. The reason why I'm taking it out of Mac OS Extended is because Mac OS Extended is actually for Mac OS's 10 and earlier. As you can see now, if you go up to this Apple in the corner and click about this Mac, we're in Mac OS 13 or later in Ventura. So I'm gonna take it out of this old format. Yours probably says Windows NT file system. So Windows NTFS is Windows new technology file system. That's not gonna work on Mac OS. Mac is gonna be able to read it, but it's not gonna be able to write to it. And write to it means it's not gonna be able to drag and drop onto it. You're not gonna be able to make changes to any files. So we're gonna change this. And so we're gonna click APFS, which is Apple file system case sensitive. Now you could click case sensitive and encrypted, but I'm going to do case sensitive because I'm afraid that if I do encrypt it, it could maybe corrupt some files for me. And I feel like I'm pretty secure. I can change this at a later time. So I'm going to do APFS case sensitive. And this is just so that when you name a file, it's case sensitive. So the file work all lowercase and a file work with the W capitalized APFS is going to recognize these folders as different. If I had it in just APFS, then it would think that these are the same. So we're gonna do APFS, and then we're gonna click apply. Then it's gonna give you a message that says, partitioning this device will permanently erase the data stored on some of the partitions. You can't undo this action. This partition will be erased. Make sure that if you're doing this and you have data on it, you drag it over. Make sure you don't do this step with data that you're not afraid to lose. So I'm gonna click partition and it's gonna run and it's gonna delete. Now, if you're running this and it doesn't delete, that means some other program has your My Passport open and we're just gonna to have to close out of it. And you can also restart your computer and then do this again. So we are done now. We have created our APFS Apple File System container. We have repartitioned, reformatted our hard drive. So now, we can go back over to my passport and see how much data is being used. It's only 918 kilobytes. Why? Because when I go ahead and click over here, there's nothing there. We can go to get info just to show you that there's nothing there. And the capacity is four terabytes. The availability is four terabytes. There's nothing there. So let's test it. Let's see if I can drag this Mr. Krabs over onto my new hard drive. And let's see if it can open up. And let's see what it says. Hello, I like money. All right, Mr. Krabs likes money. Now, let's see if I can drag it onto my desktop. Okay, and I can drag it onto my desktop. So it looks like it works. Let's see if we can make a folder. Looks like we're able to make a folder. Let's see if we can drag Mr. Krabs into this folder. It looks like we did it. Now let's check to see how much space we have. Get info. We still have four terabytes of data, but we know that we have something in here because we can click on this and get info for that particular folder. And there is 1.2 megabits of data. 
that is about right for a video that is only about a second long. And that is how you reformat your hard drive to allow files from Mac to be stored on your external hard drive. Like the video if you've received any value from this. Link to this four terabyte hard drive is in the description box below. And peace, I'm out.